Watch this video to learn how to certify your instruments. From within the dealing, select Certify and Sign from the left hand navigation bar. The Certify and Sign page displays. Anyone can view this page even if they don't have signing privileges, but it will be read only. Here you will see all the instruments listed that your firm is responsible for signing in the dealing. The status column indicates where an instrument is at in the dealing workflow. As you can see here, they are all still in draft. The signing status will display icons at different stages of the signing process to let you know which stage an instrument is at during signing. If it's blank, it means the instrument is ready for signing. A circle with a red line through it indicates the instrument failed to certify and sign business rules and is not ready for signing. A blue tick indicates that an instrument has been part signed and the green tick indicates the instrument has been fully signed. One of the instruments failed to certify and sign business rules, so it can't be certified and signed yet. You can navigate to the pre-validate page to find out what the error relates to. You have a few ways of doing this, we'll demonstrate one way. Select the down arrow at the end of the instrument row. This will bring up the certifications for this instrument. You can see the red warning banner at the top of the instrument preview. Click on the hyperlink View Instrument with Pre-Validation to go to the pre-validation screen for this instrument. Here you can see the pre-validation results, which will include the detail of any failures. You'll need to make any necessary changes to your dealing before you can continue the Certify and Sign process. From this page, you can also navigate back to the Certify and Sign page by selecting the Certify and Sign button. To begin certification, select the down arrow at the end of the instrument row for the first instrument. It can take a few seconds for the instrument preview to load, but if the preview doesn't load, select this button to open the preview as a downloadable PDF in a new browser window. You can also download or print the preview. If applicable, Select the Conveyancing Professional and Party or Parties in the Representative section of the Certifications. If you're the listed Conveyancing Professional for an Instrument Role, your name will default in the CP for Role Representative field. When certifying and signing on behalf of another Conveyancing Professional in your firm, you will need to select the name of the person you're certifying and signing on behalf of from the drop-down list. Names are listed in alphabetical order. Use the checkboxes in the parties area to select who you are certifying and signing on behalf of. You should only select the party or parties you're signing on behalf of. When you're ready to certify, read the certifications in the right hand box and check the box to confirm your certification. You can sign this one instrument now or if you have more than one role or instrument to certify in respect of this dealing, Continue to scroll down the page to certify your other instruments. If your dealing contains special certifications, read the special certifications and select the option that best satisfies the certification. Once you've certified all the instruments, select the Proceed to Signing button. This brings us to the end of the Certify Your Instruments video. Thanks for watching.